scientists have recently come up with a theory that when we spend too much time in water and our fingers wrinkle, then that's actually not a, a negative thing like our mothers told us. It's a positive thing. It's a, a natural evolutionary response to the water that allows you to grip things. Now I think this is fascinating because I know we already have other water responses. We have a diving response where if uh, your face gets wet or if you go into water, your heartbeat slows down, your circulation changes. And that's left over from a time we spend a lot of time in water. But what's most exciting about this to me is it's a thing we've interpreted since the dawn of mankind as negative. Everyone's mum has told us uh, it's time to get out. We naturally respond to the wrinkly fingers by thinking the water's uh, soaked my, my fingers, uh, it's uh, too much time in the bath, too much time in water, and get out. But in fact it was a good thing. It's time to get going. It's time to start diving and start doing things. Now this is a really important thing psychologically because I think from the, uh, the world view, from our point of view, there are other things that we've been interpreting negatively. So when someone gets depressed, that's nature's way of telling us it's time to back off, it's time to hide, it's time to get out of the situation. And the same with certain other mental illnesses, uh, different types of sexuality. I think we're, we're going to find in the future that these are things we should be working with, not trying to medicate or work against. Um, so, for example, with depression, I think we need to give those people a break. We need to get those people out of that situation, give them time to recover, work with the depression, rather than give them pills to stop that feeling so they can be good workers and keep on going. I think that would actually be more productive in the long term. But back to hidden abilities, uh, diving abilities. I discovered that if I swam long periods under the sea without any goggles, my eyes would adapt and suddenly I could see far better. My pupils would dilate. We know about this diving reflex. We've now got this theory and some experiments which are really supporting this. So today's experiment is to find out, I want to know how long, if I put my one hand in here, it's going to take for the, um, the fingers to wrinkle. But I also want to know, more importantly, do the other fingers wrinkle as a response? Is it a natural response that happens on both sides? And that would really show something, because then we know it's not the water causing the wrinkles, it's actually a response in, inside. So, let's show the hands beforehand. Here's my left hand, that's not going in. Here's my right hand, that is. And now I'm going to stand here, or sit here rather, with my hand in this bucket of water and see how long it takes. It may be that I have to sit here for a whole hour. But will the other hand wrinkle? How long will it take that to happen? That's what I'm going to find out. Okay, it's taken over an hour and I think you're gonna find the results interesting. This is the, the right hand. I don't know if the lights can really show this very well, but you can probably see the prune fingers there. And notice how they actually do look like grips. Now we're looking at them in a different light. But here's the interesting thing. If you look at this hand, not anywhere near the same, but you can see these little like mechanism kicking in. So the hand that hasn't been in water is starting to get some kind of response and to me that's very important.
So I don't know if anyone's ever done this before. I'm going to put a link to the study where they discovered you could grip better after this response kicked in. But looking at my hands right now, they've both got the response to some degree. This one more, the one that was actually in the water. But this one has become all wrinkly and made for gripping underwater. So, conclusive evidence. This prune-like effect on your hand is not caused by too much water. It's a natural evolutionary response to help you grip things underwater. Because it kicks in on the other hand if you put one hand in a bucket of water. So how many other things are we interpreting as being negative when they're in fact positive adaptions? And what other hidden abilities do we have within ourselves?